Hey there, everyone, and welcome to GameSpot's E3 2013 newsroom coverage. I'm Sean McInnes. This here is Tom McShay, and the both of us have just seen a rather fascinating demo of The Witness, courtesy of none other than Jonathan Blow. Yes, and his team of d 7 to 14 programmers behind the scenes. Yes, uh, so... I'll be honest, it's kind of hard to make much of The Witness right now because you get the sense that there's a lot of subtext to this game. There's a lot of secrets going on. Yeah. And Jonathan Blow does not want to spoil those parts of the game. He spoiled some of the stuff. Yeah, a little bit of the stuff. But on a real basic level, how would you describe The Witness? So it's an open world game. Yeah. Uh, and you, you walk through and there's puzzles. And the puzzles are all in like boxes. Basically. Yeah, these little panels. And like there's a beginning point and an end and you have to trace your, a line through a maze. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it sounds as simple as it is. Right. But then they, of course, get more complex. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. And one of the key things that he's trying to do with this game, and one of the reasons that the puzzles start out so simple, is that he's communicating everything non-verbally. Right? So you start out the game, you don't see any look up to calibrate y-axis setting. You don't see yeah. any, like, there's any no, of that stuff. There's no words dealing directly with the mechanics of the game. Yeah, absolutely. And so it's... You're just on this island, you're exploring, you see these panels with puzzles, yeah. and then as you kind of like look things over and unravel things, you begin to get the sense that there's a whole lot more going on here. And I think my favorite quote that he said is that everything in this game has an ulterior motive. Yeah. So I kind of get almost like a portal vibe here where there's like there's a distinct history to this island. There's something that's happened here. We don't know what. Yeah. You are witness to it. Yeah, you he, are the witness. So as far it. like to show what the puzzles are like, kind of. like There's one where there's a tree, and there's pink behind the tree, so it's just kind of like a stark tree right in front of your eyes. Right. And, it's, and it, you can see that it matches up with this light box in front of you, and then you, like, you trace a path to where the apple would be, and you mm -hmm. solve the puzzle. Right. So it's, it's that kind of look at the environment to solve the puzzle kind yeah. of philosophy. Yeah, and it gets kind of weirder and weirder from there. That's like a real basic one yeah. where you're looking at the panel and you see like this start point and these branches and you're like, what does that mean? Oh, there's a tree. That tree looks just like it. There's yeah. an apple. I'll trace the line to the apple. But as you move further on, you'll see a panel that's obscured by this sort of like broken section of a wall this inside of really a house. This is really hard to explain, isn't it? And, and basically... The, m the main point here is that the panels and the puzzles begin to align with the sort of details of this world. Yeah. And you have to look at these puzzles within the context of how this world is laid out. Wow. And it's so weird and mind-blowing, but also really awesome. It is. And he's, he's keeping everything else close to his vest. Like yeah. It feels like there's just a lot more hidden. Because yeah. he's not talking about the story at all, which is audio di diary style. Right. Uh, I mean, so he's not, he's not really talking about the greater themes. It's yeah. just like, there's light boxes in this game, environments. Mm -hmm. So we, we really only have a taste. Yeah. Uh, one thing I will say is that, you know, Braid had this really vivid, detailed, kind of like painted aesthetic to it yep. with the levels. This one is a lot more kind of minimal and subdued. It's got those kind of like flat textures, almost in like a Team Fortress 2 kind of way, yeah. where like the textures themselves are kind of like, you know, just a, f a flat color, but it's sort of that use of colors and all these different kind of hues that gives it that real vibrant look. I, I think it's gorgeous. Well, he, he said that was a purposeful decision, so the details in the background didn't ever conflict. When you see something, yeah. you see it for a reason. Yeah. Um, I'm really excited for this game. Yes. It's, it's in the launch window for the PS4. Yeah, he was saying it's coming out. He's aiming for March or April. Something there. Um, yeah, it's, it's looking really good. Yeah, so... Um, I guess, I mean, we, can, we keep doing these things throughout the thing, the, the newsroom. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to know any answers, we're not going to know most of the questions. <laughs> I'm going to be perfectly honest. But if we have a hashtag, yeah. GameSpotE3. Uh, um, tweet us questions, and we'll do our best to answer those if, for you guys. If you do find out what the witness is, just tell us. Yeah, tell us. We would like to know. We don't really know, yeah. but we're, we're but super no spoilers. Intrigued. No spoilers, though. Yes. All right. Thanks for watching.